Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Tap Repair video. In today's episode, we're going to be replacing the LCD on this MacBook Pro 13 inch. Uh, this is going to be a 2019 or 18 at model A2159. Uh, let's go ahead and get into today's repair. So we're going to start by flipping the unit over and removing the six pentalobe screws. Uh, the two at the top right and left hand side are going to be longer than the four at the bottom. I'm going to use a suction cup to get the bottom case off. And now we're inside the unit. So since we're going to be replacing the LCD today, most of the work we're going to do is going to be in the top section here. However, under this little cover here, we do have to disconnect the battery. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I like to use just so you don't have to mess with this uh, battery management unit flex cable. Uh, this cable is responsible for telling the battery what percentage it's at, when it should charge, if it should charge. Uh, and if this cable is not plugged back in correctly, uh, the unit will probably turn off when you unplug it or you have some weird battery things. Uh, but to avoid all that, we can just simply move it to the side and unscrew our T5 pancake screw and pull it out. The one that connects the uh, battery and the logic board together. And then we can bend the jumper away. So that's a little trick I like to use uh, just to avoid the hassle and inconvenience of having to unplug either end of this cable here. Uh, but now our unit is uh, without power and safe to work on. So sticking with the same T5 screwdriver we used to uh, remove the battery connection screw, we're gonna remove the four, uh, one here, 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 and here, T5s that hold the LCD display connectors as well as the Wi-Fi vent module to the top case. Now we're gonna switch to a T3 screwdriver and remove the two, four in total, so one and two. Uh, screws that are T3s on the LCD hinge covers and the hinge covers themselves. And moving inward, we're going to work our way in. So we're going to do the four screws for the LCD uh, assembly here. These are going to be long T3s. And then there's going to be four more small T3s, two at the top on the silver retention plate and two on the middle for the secondary retention plate uh, for the LCD display connector. Now we're going to grab a PL1 screwdriver and remove all the screws on either side at the top here that hold the Wi-Fi vent module to the top case. Uh, these are going to be very small and very short. All right, we do have one more T5 uh, that's very easy to forget. It's gonna be the one right here in between our Wi-Fi antenna cables, which we're first gonna unplug using a plastic spudger. And now we can go ahead and undo the T5 that holds uh, this little bracket and these antennas in place. And now we're gonna to switch to a T8 screwdriver and remove the three, so six in total, at either hinge location. All right, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect our LCD display connector and pop out our Wi-Fi vent module. And now we're good to go ahead and remove our LCD assembly. Just like with every other MacBook, the way to do it is just open it up all the way. And you're gonna pull flat this way towards the top of the LCD with the top case. There it is. So there's our bad LCD removed from our top case. We can go ahead and set this one aside and unbox our fresh one that you can find uh, either linked in the description below or at techdep.com.
So one little trick I always like to do before I remove the cardboard is just take my pentalobe screwdriver and open up the LCD hinges. Uh, this just makes it so you don't risk damaging the screen when you're opening the hinges. Also makes it a lot easier. So we can now remove our cardboard, flip this around, take our top case assembly, line it up, and we just wanna make sure we don't cover any of the bungees or cables here. Then we're gonna go ahead and act like we're opening the unit and hold either hinge and close it. Once you get about uh, three quarters of the way, you can just close it, let it fall all the way down, and then manually push down the hinges the rest of the way. We're gonna go back to our T8 screwdriver and fasten the LCD to the top case. And again, if you guys are looking for any parts or tools you see in today's video, uh, they will be linked in the description below, or you can find them at techdep.com. Uh, we also offer mail-in repair services and data recovery service. Uh, so if you're interested in either of those, they're also going to be linked below or at techdep.com. So with our T8s uh, reinstalled, the first thing we're going to do is install these little LCD bungees by clicking them into place and then taking the very long T3s, there's going to be two for each, and fastening them down. And we're just going to repeat that process for the left hand side here. And now we're gonna take our Wi-Fi antenna module, uh, get all the cables close and together uh, because you have to feed it through a little cutout in the top case and then underneath uh, this heat, heat sink pipe uh, for the CPU and out this little hole and then secure both, uh, of both the antenna cables and the bracket to the T5 right there. I do recommend the help of tweezers does just help make everything easier. All right, so once you get the bracket through and all three cables, we're just gonna go ahead and plug in the Wi-Fi antenna cables. You can do this in any order. I just like to start from the farthest and work my way to the closest. And now we're gonna take that T5 that holds uh, that little bracket as well as these cables in place and fasten it down. Now we're going to move on to the four T5 screws that hold the Wi-Fi vent module as well as the LCD uh, board here in place. And now we're going to switch to a T3 screwdriver. And we're gonna go ahead and plug in our LCD display connector and then place the retention brackets back over it with their respective screws. We're now gonna go ahead and install our LCD hinge covers. And again, the two accompanying T3 screws. Now we're gonna go back to our PL1 and install all the screws on either side that hold our Wi-Fi end module to our top case. All right, so now all we have to do is take our T5 screwdriver and our pancake screw, feed it beneath our daughter board battery cable Secure it down. And we're going to go ahead and test the unit before we put the bottom case on. Which means we're going to go ahead and plug it in. And then open it up. And turn it on. Alright, we're going to wait till we load in just to make sure that little line isn't there. Uh, if you replace your LCD and you still notice some lines, it could be your display connector. 
Uh, so go ahead and grab one of those. Again, you can find it linked in the description below or at techdep.com. Uh, but in this case, it seems like it was simply just the whole display. Uh, but if you replace the display, still have some weird things going on, go ahead and replace your LCD display connector as well. All right, so now that we know what works, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our bottom case. We're gonna line it up on the top and push it down. And I like to secure one side before I push the other one up just to avoid this one coming off. And remember the top two are gonna be our longest screws. So once we get that side all lined up and screwed in, we're gonna do the same thing over here. And now we can go around screwing in the remaining five screws. And that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below and with the help of the community, we'll be sure to assist you. If you saw any parts or tools you need in this video, uh, check out the links below or check us out at techdep.com. If you guys are interested in a similar repair, uh, we do offer mail-in repair service. You can also find that linked below or at techdep.com. And we'll see you guys in the next episode.